Hi everyone, this is Nick, and we're going to be taking a look at the initial setup of the Gaja Nivelio Milk Espresso Machine. Now, this is a very basic and straightforward machine, so there's really not a whole lot to cover, but I'd like to give you my tips on how to get your grind dialed right before brewing, and also taking a look at some of the accessories that come with this machine. So, let's get into it. Out of the box, your Nivelio milk is going to come with a handful of accessories that you'll be able to use for maintenance and operation on the machine. Now, from left to right, starting with probably the least exciting, is the water hardness test strip. Now, the Nivelio milk actually does not have the ability to program your water hardness, so what this would be used for is if you choose to get the optional Mavia Intenza water filter, the result of that water hardness test will help you set the filter to its correct setting. Now, it's worth mentioning that the Nivelio milk, because it does not recognize the presence of the filter, will not reduce the frequency of your descaling alert. So, this will remove contaminants and other flavor affecting uh, components from the water, say like chlorine, but if you are using a water pitcher that filters something like that in your refrigerator or have a home filter system, you can simply use that for taste and then descale the machine as needed using the Gaja decalcifier. Now, next to that, we have a tube of the Gaja Brew Group lubricant. This is a food safe lubricating grease that can be applied to the brew group. That's a mechanism inside the machine that slides on tracks that can wear out with friction. Now, with this, you'll apply that to those tracks to help keep the machine moving properly. Next up, we have our grind adjustment key. So there is a small socket on the end of this key that's used to make adjustments to your grinder. There's a small post inside the bean hopper that has a hexagonal uh, little knob on there. You use this key to make those adjustments. Adjusting by hand is really not possible, so make sure that you don't lose this key once you've got your machine set up. And then finally, while the uh, machine itself does come with the cap and cup auto frothing system. It also includes a manual Panarello style frothing wand. So if you want to try your hand at some manual milk frothing, the Nivelio allows you to be the barista or takes that duty from you. And with that, these are the accessories that come with the Nivelio milk. Now that we've taken a look at our accessories, let's go over the initial setup for the Nivelio milk. So the very first thing that we're going to want to do is actually rinse the reservoir. Now, I did not show me plugging this machine in, but I'll leave that Herculean task to you at home. Now, all we need to do is simply position the frother out of the way, and we can go ahead and remove the reservoir. So if this is your very first time using the machine, you'll want to rinse the reservoir before filling it with the water that you're going to use to so I'm going to go ahead and take this to the sink, give it a little rinse, and I'll be right back. With your reservoir rinsed and filled with water, you can go ahead and insert it into the machine. We'll do that now. Just give that a nice push, get our frother back in place, and turn the machine on. Now you're going to be alerted that you need to prime the machine for the initial setup. So we have the alert here telling us no water, and we also have the alert, which is the generalized alarm when something needs our attention. Now, if you notice, the hot water button is flashing. This is how we're going to be dispensing hot water with this machine, and it's also how we're going to prime. So I'll go ahead and press this for five seconds. and we've started the process of priming. Now, what that is, is it's simply running some water through the pump so that the machine is used to pulling water through the system. This has to be done the very first time that you use the machine because at this point, there is no water inside. So we've got our pump running here. And we've got some water now coming out of the spouts. We had just a small trickle too that had come out of the frother. And with that, the Nivelio milk is now ready to brew. 
All right, so from our bird's eye view, we can see the hopper on the Navilio Milk. Now, there's really not too much to say up here other than that this is where we're going to be putting our whole bean coffee. So there is a bean shield, which helps with diffusion of the coffee beans as they get fed down into the auger here, which pulls them into the burrs. Uh, you might wonder what that's really useful for, but basically if we didn't have this, the coffee could kind of clump up together. So this helps just sort of rotate and shake as they're being fed down. Now, the one thing to take note of here is the small black post. And so there is a tiny little knob here that shows us which position this in, but this is how we adjust our grind setting. Now with our key, we would simply insert that on top and then it's sort of like removing the uh, top of a vitamin bottle here, but we would simply push and then turn, and you can see now that our grind has been adjusted. So it's really important that you set your grind where you want it to be before adding coffee to the hopper. Not only is it easier just to see this post, but also when you start making adjustments, if there are beans inside the grinder, Gaja recommends that you only ever make a single adjustment at a time at that point, because what can happen is you can damage the burrs because that coffee is still between them. So my suggestion, of course, is that we would go ahead and simply switch the grinder to its finest setting before adding any coffee. And then Gaja uses something that's called the Gaja adapting system. And what'll happen is after your first couple of shots, the machine will really be tailored to the strength that you've set and to your grind. And you'll start to see some really rich crema full extractions. So um, that kind of covers this area up here. There's really nothing going on with this lid here. So that's just there. And we'll go ahead and add some beans. So when it comes to the coffee that we're going to put in these kinds of machines, for Gaja Super Autos, you just want a sort of medium roast Italian blend and you'll be good to go. Anything that's an extra dark roast or a flavored coffee with lots of surface oils, well, those can collect in the hopper, in the brew group, on the auger that pulls the beans into the burrs and can damage your machine. So really avoid using extra dark, extra oily coffees in these machines and otherwise you'll be good to go.